Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to build Techno's Wither Vault Room. If you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Lord Cantor. I recreate the Dream SP. Here it is behind me. Wow, that's cool. Before we get into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you would like the video down below and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It means a lot. I appreciate it. These videos take a long time to make. Also, in the description, there's now a material list because a lot of people have been asking about those and I haven't been doing them. So now, there are material lists in the description of the video. I can hear you saying thank you. I, I'll address it. You're welcome. You're welcome. You weren't, say you weren't saying thank you. Oh, that. Also, before we get into the video, go ahead and follow my Twitter. Go ahead and join my Discord. It's a fun place where I can hang out with the community and talk, and I'm pretty active on there. So if you want to talk to me, you have some burning questions, or if you're following these tutorials yourself in the video and you want to show me your work, the best way to do so is adding me on Twitter with a picture, and I swear I will see it, and I will like it, and I will reply to it. Okay? Enough said. Let's go and start the tutorial. Alright, everybody, welcome back to the tutorial world. We're also in the techno... Fills a house, Rambo house, whatever area. Also, tiny little announcement. I want to start uh, letting you guys decide what tutorial I do next, so I'll leave the options for which one I'm going to do in community posts. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see the community tab. You can see it. You'll see the polls, and it'll give options for the next following tutorials, so you can influence what content I make on the channel. If you don't want to miss the polls, you can vote in those. Go and subscribe to the channel with notifications on, so you see that, and you'll have all the polls. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So over here by Rambo's house, we will go over to the other side, and this is the spot right here in the wall for the Wither Vault. We have a little bit of train we're going to do out here so it looks correct by getting rid of this tree, first of all. Oh, also, small disclaimer before we start the video, there's a few things I think we should mention. First of all, you don't have to build this on the seat. If you have any cliffside you want, you can build it in the cliffside just to get the right shape, get the right size door, and you can build the room wherever the heck you want. Second of all, if you are on bedrock, this redstone I do for the door, I'm going to do the redstone door, it will not work on bedrock. Okay, so don't follow the redstone and then send some angry hate comment saying like, it didn't work, the Lord Cantor's a scam. It, the redstone only works for Java, it's a Java redstone door. If I find a 7x7 piston door that works on bedrock that I think would fit in this room, I'll go ahead and link that in the description, or it'll be the pinned comment for a tutorial. I don't know, I'll figure that out. Okie dokie, so to start this, we're actually going to fill in a little bit of the floor right here. So uh, what we need to do, you see this shape in the ground right here? Uh, we're going to go to this spot, then there's these two, and then right here, we're actually going to place another one diagonal back. One, two, three, and one more right there, so it creates that shape. And then we're going to fill in this whole layer right here, and then on top of all the grass that we place, go ahead and place snow so it looks more natural into the hill. So it's supposed to be hidden and then more flat. Uh, by the door. All right, so it should look like this. Now, for the actual door, what we're going to do, if you're building this on the actual seat, if you're not building this on the seat, I'll tell you what to do in a second. You have these rows right here, and you'll have this one coal ore right here. What we're going to do, we're going to grab smooth stone, place two smooth stone directly next to this, and then place grass blocks. One, two, three, four, five grass blocks on top of it, just like this. Place one next to it, and then above and underneath it's just a total of three in that row right there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take this middle one, drag it across to connect it. Okie dokie. Then this one, we're going to drag this one all the way across. Add an extra one right there. Then back down here, we're going to place three pieces of stone. Then grab dirt, place three pieces of dirt on top of it. And then one dirt right there. And that is the shape of our door. Now what we can do, last detail, let's grab some snow, put snow on top of this so it looks more natural. And that is all the train work that got done. So right here, I'm actually going to grab our button and put a button. That's where the button would go to open up our door. So inside here, what we're going to do is behind the doorway, we're going to dig out nine blocks behind this, this, this stone right here, not including the grass down there. This is nine blocks inside of here, and this is a total of 19. So it's a nine by 19 room, and it's five blocks tall. So that's exactly what you're going to want to dig out. And now what we're going to do is on top of here, we're going to actually dig out for the, the first three rows, uh, a two by, a sort of a two by three in this whole area. So you can sort of see what's going on here. Don't worry about like trying to, you know, do any like the granite or coal. That's just going to be whatever in your world. Now what we're going to do in the floor, we're going to dig out these four blocks in the floor right here. So knock out all of these. And you'll see there's a little room down here for the redstone door. Since we have all of this dug out, you can see we go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A total of nine blocks down here. And you can see I dug out the blocks on the sides of the walls here just so there's extra room for the tutorial so you can sort of see, but not necessary. And uh, underneath the door right here is necessary. So dig out that. Uh, so down here should be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 block room. So an 11 by 5 down there, and that is all the dimensions for the room you need to dig out. So if you need to pause it, go ahead and do that. Alright, so to start off this room, first of all, we're actually going to place the dispensers on the sides. That uh, basically when the redstone door is going up and down, it's not ripping apart the walls and getting stuck on it. So we're going to grab dispensers like this. And uh, actually, I think you can use dispensers or droppers. It looks exactly the same on the side. And now what we're going to do, we're going to place uh, a row of three like this uh, right in this spot. And we're going to take this all the way up to the ceiling. So that's two, three, four five six and seven just like this i'm actually gonna break this one out so i can get them to sideways uh, and put that dirt back 
And so it looks just like that. Now what we're going to do, we're actually going to place a whole row of dispensers in the floor right here. I'm actually going to uh, place temporary blocks here and then place them facing this way into the floor so you can't see the that side of the dispenser. So I'm going to get rid of all these temporary blocks just like this. So you can see it's going along the floor right here. Now what we need to do on this side, this is a little different because right here is the button. Uh, so there's an observer chain that goes up and down. So what we're going to do, we're going to place an observer facing this way up right there on that block and then what we can do is place two dispensers that way and then three this way and then keep repeating this little pattern so place your dispenser i'm not sorry your observer up like that and then fill it all the way around with more dispensers and then what we can do is uh actually yeah i actually continue doing that for a third time uh like this actually they can be not facing upward we do not want them facing upward a little weird to deal with so really quick detail if you're looking up the ceiling we actually need to dig out one more row we're going to dig out this middle row right here and then in this spot there's actually a dropper that's facing this way so i'm pretty sure actually all of these are supposed to be droppers so if you want to make them droppers you can uh just immovable objects is really all you need uh now what we're going to do we're going to knock out this whole row right here and uh skipping this last one right here we're going to place one two three four five six seven although i need the seventh one eh, in here and i can place this one back out of the way and our drop right there oops actually this one needs to be faced right <laughs> there you go bit of a pain to deal with uh and now what we can do is actually one more time we need to place an observer right there and then our two dispensers in the ceiling right there we got some redstone repeaters and some redstone dust we're gonna get a repeater and face it this way like that's so basically what happens you press the button and it sends a chain going up here which you'll see it triggers all of that and triggers that so when you're running to trigger it back down this is actually the down mechanism so let's go ahead and break through all of this and now what we need to do is wrap redstone and we need to place redstone on top of all of these dispensers which basically just powers the immovable blocks uh which sends a signal through the observers blah 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 so it knows it knows what it's doing really random detail if you're looking at this part of the wall uh this one right here is actually a sideways dropper and then this one right here is actually a dispenser now that we have the way to launch it back down we need actually a way to launch it up in the first place so what we're going to do uh, we have this one observer right here we're going to continue the line going down i'm going to grab a dispenser just face it any direction actually we'll face it this way for consistency and then what we're going to do we're going to place another observer facing up like this you'll see like the little v shape going on right here facing that direction which is good and then one more dispenser or dropper it does not matter and then what we're going to do we're actually going to grab out a sticky piston right here now place a temporary block and then our sticky piston facing downwards break this one out then put a piece of redstone it doesn't matter if it's dust or not and then what we can do is grab a block of redstone right here and then place a piece of stone down on the ground with our redstone right here and then what we're going to do is actually we're going to place a line of redstones this is one two three four five six seven eight i think yeah eight is what we need in total and we're gonna make a line of redstone right here okie dokie now that we have this line right here what we're gonna do we're gonna place target blocks on the back of this to redirect our signal now we're gonna place obsidian on the other side of this on top of the target blocks we're gonna place sticky pistons facing upward and then we're gonna place observers facing this direction so you have the little v-shape pointing in towards the door now we're gonna do we're gonna start building part of the door right here so what we need to do is we need to place one two three uh and then two three four five six seven so a little three by three by seven of stone right here and then in the middle row we're going to put five in the middle and then we're going to place dirt on either side and then a full row of dirt and then another full row of dirt and then a full row of stone up here and that's the actual sliding seven by seven door that goes up and down it just has some dirt uh detailing in the corners so now we're going to do it down here we're going to alternate honey and slime blocks we're going to go honey slime honey slime honey slime and honey right here and then we're going to extend it by one like so and then what we're going to do we're gonna get our observers out and we're gonna place them like this so that the face that little face it makes is pointing down into that block so a full row going across like that and then sticky pistons on top of all of that now what we can do is we can stack up all of these a total of three more let's take all of these up three and then we can start the other segment right here now what we need to do is grab out some sticky pistons i'm going to temporarily place um two blocks here so i can place an upside down sticky piston and then i'm going to break those two out and then I'm going to place a row of sticky pistons going along all of this. And don't worry, I'm going to fly back so you can see everything that's going on here. In case you are stuck, you can always rewind the video. Now we can do on top of all of these sticky pistons, I'm going to place one, two, three, four pieces of slime. Then four honey. And then just keep alternating until you get to the other side of the door. Like so. So there we go. There's all of those blocks. Now we can do, last thing we need to do over here is grab our observers out. We'll go from underneath and place observers on underneath all of these spots now i'm going to fly quickly up to the top so you can see this is what the door looks like from this side okay now when you're out here i'm going to press the button and my door will magically go down like this everything is flush like this and i'm going to press the button again and it is going to go up 
Now, I made a little bit of a cut because mine wasn't working originally, which this might be the same issue if you built it exactly like me in the tutorial. So let me tell you what I did wrong, uh, which you probably did wrong too if you followed what I did. And you'll see right here, I'm going to break the dispenser so you can see, I shouldn't mess with anything. And uh, you'll see this observer right here, you need to have the red dot facing down and then the face facing up towards this because it matters which way the observers are going down the line. So I actually had misplaced this one so the faces were facing each other. So uh, remove this observer uh, so it's facing this way so you'll have to place it like uh, in that direction and then I'll put my observer back like this and now that observer is facing the correct direction so the, the chain is going all the way down because before I was clicking the button and it wasn't making it down there so now uh, now it is working so I'm going to put the stone back here and our door should be working so let's go ahead and open this up and uh, we can continue the rest of the room so you can see right here uh, we have the room ready to go so what I did is I replaced all of the walls in here the three walls that we have in the ceiling with stone bricks just replaced exactly what it was with stone bricks uh, and then I also replaced the row up here with stone bricks and then I dug out the floor, uh, leaving these dispensers right here, which leaves a 9 by 15 area dug out in the floor. So make sure those dimensions are correct now. And now what we need to do, there's a little bit more redstone to do. We need to have the button, but it'll go right here, which will actually uh, shut the door from the inside. So we're actually going to get uh, mossy uh, stone bricks out, and there's a mossy stone brick behind this button. So once we place this button, I'm going to go ahead and build behind the wall. Let's break in back here and dig out a tiny room, expose the rest of our redstone. Oops, didn't want to break that one. That's actually our door. So what we're going to do, we are going to build a little a little room in here, and I'm going to like have a trail of redstone that goes from behind this to go back to three over that way, and then two back into that dispenser right there. So now, when I press this button, it should launch the door back up. So there it goes, all the way up. It's done. And if I press it again, it will take my door back down. Let's double check this works on the outside. Here's my button right here. If I press it, my door will go up like that and you'll see the the pattern should look like this and I'll press it again and it goes down and obviously if you want it to be hidden you can go ahead and get rid of this button right here and also let's go ahead and place snow back on the floor in all of these spots right here so there you go that's what it would look like uh, I'm gonna leave the button here for now and I'll uh, we'll leave the door open just like this let's go ahead and patch up our work in here just fill in any blocks so mobs can't spawn and we can build the rest of the room now the hard parts over so for the floor in here we're gonna need some more dispensers polished basalt uh, some shroom lights blast furnaces chest crafting table an inner chest some soul sand and an armor stand now I'm gonna I, I should mention I'm building the room as if it was like brand new like it was just getting unveiled uh, but of course the you know the redstone door doesn't work anymore and there's been all, most of the wither skulls are gone but I, I think it looks cooler when the room's actually complete the way it was meant to look so we're gonna leave it like that if you want to grief it and make it more accurate uh go for it so what we're gonna do in here we're going to place a little two by two. also all the dispensers i'm just placing sideways because you only want the top pattern like this so i'm placing a two by two of dispensers there and a two by two of dispensers right in there i'm actually gonna place a blast furnace in the floor right there so getting a little creative with the, the floor and the dispensers on either side of it don't worry about which way they're facing it does not matter uh now what we're gonna do i'm gonna place a piece of basalt in the ground here and here actually we need to dig out these two sorry about that and uh we can do uh, two across this way, three across this way, and two right there, and then also one going back on either side like that. Now what we can do is, uh, in line with the ones that are facing upwards, we're going to skip three and place it on the fourth one there and there, and then do that again, skip one, two, three, place it on the fourth one, and then one more time, skip one, two, three, place it on the fourth one there and there, so there's our uh, basic floor design. Now what we need to do is just connect all of these uh, in sort of like a grid shape going back to the wall over here these three spots, these three spots, and then also against the sidewall, so you'll see when I have that done. So it should look like this in the floor. Now we need to do in the center, in the 3x3 the three three spots in the middle right here, what we're going to do, place dispensers in all four corners, and then we're going to place our uh, polished basalt in the middle, and then the four remaining spots, place four shroom lights, so do it in these two spots as well. So our middle patterns look like this, you have it all three times. Now we can do in all of the other remaining spots, we're going to temporarily face all of this in with the dispensers or droppers. There's what the floor looks like in here. Now we're going to grab out a few blast furnaces, small details. There's actually two blast furnaces back here and two in this back corner right there. And that's what the room looks like back here. Uh, now what we need to do is grab out our soul sand for some wither spots. And where these two are poking up, we're going to place two soul sand, one either side like you're about to make a wither, and on this side as well. Do not place the skulls on there or else that will ruin your day. Now we're going to grab out an armor stand, put an armor stand right here. That's where the netherite armor would go. Is that lined up centered properly? I guess it's different every time. I don't know. Now we're going to grab our chest. Now actually before we grab the chest, in fact, 
Yeah, we'll leave that there. Before we place all this, we're gonna have to detail this room with all of the uh, mossy and cracked and all of that. I'll, I'll do this spot block for block, this one little spot, because I feel like if you see any of it uh, detailed, it'd be this spot right here. So up here, what we want to do, mossy in that corner uh, right there, and then we go to the other side, one block in, mossy right there, then diagonal to that mossy, skip one, and then another mossy right there. Now we're gonna grab out the cracked. Uh, two cracked ones right there on the second row in skip that row and then two mossy right there and and then this the top right hand corner we're gonna place cracks so that's exactly what that spot looks like so you can see i have finished detailing my walls so i'll fly around you can like pause the screen and look at all the individual walls right here if you want i think it's pretty cool it makes it look like a stronghold sort of worn out broken down uh it's pretty cool looking in my opinion and you can see the ceiling right here uh you you know build up your own recreation skills <laughs> uh, you could say all right so a few more details we need to do in this room once you've detailed all of this and you are happy with that we're gonna grab out some chests where all of the uh, wither skulls are being stored and uh, if you're looking at the room we're gonna go to the left side we're gonna place two double chests like this and then a crafting table and then four more double chests one two three and four stop by that blast furnace on this side what we're gonna do two double chests right here and an inner chest and then four double chests uh, over here so you can see our, our crafting table and inner chest line up in the same spots and now my personal favorite spot we're going to grab out our wither skulls and we are going to just line all of the walls in here with wither skulls this makes this look very very scary in here uh, if you're building this in survival i <laughs> Uh, good luck if you want to try and get this many wither skulls. Uh, it'd be a pretty cool flex on your friends, though, if you're in a server world and you just unveil this room in a, a cliffside or something. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, although, I will mention on the back wall, uh, the, the wither skulls go on the back wall for the corners because you can't place them on both, both sides. So, for the back wall, pl place them in the corners because that's the way they were uh, facing when, wither, when the wither vault was first uh, shown off by Techno. So we're gonna build them across here. So fill it up against this whole wall and I'll be right back. Now, the last step to finish off this entire vault before you are done, grab yourself some really overpowered armor. Uh, I have perfect armor right here. It doesn't have to be perfect armor. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you wanted it to be really accurate, Techno used a backup set, so I think it was missing a few enchantments. But I have perfect armor here just in case because I think it's way cooler if it's perfect armor. But there you go. There's the netherite armor, that beautiful shot of the wither vault room. So let's go ahead and use our redstone door one more time. Oh my god, beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and hop out here, shut the door on this side. I'm going to steal the button so no one else can use it, clear my inventory, and there you go. That is the Wither Vault all done. Thank you all so much for watching the tutorial. If you have any issues with the redstone door or you want to see the patterns in the ceiling a little bit more detailed, uh, go ahead and join the Discord. That's where I can help you out the best. I only ask that you don't like ping me in the server over and over asking. Uh, we need to consider what we're going to do next. I'm thinking the Syndicate Room and the Prison Tutorial. Those are both coming very, very soon. So get very excited for that. That's going to be a, that's gonna be a difficult one. And uh, with that all being said, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.